No, what a cheesy one-liner. I miss the views of this game though. It is a really good looking game. Especially from the time it was made. Jesus! So many of them. The ammo. The search light could even the odds. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a guy over there. I think. It looks like there's a guy over there. God damn, that scared the shit out of me. My micro, my fucking headset's like extra loud right now for some reason. That just, ugh. Stop, stop now. I'm gonna stop it. You just cleared the freaking path. Run, just run. What the fuck? Oh, that's stupid. What the fuck? There's 
an old army base at Raid Cove Point, north of here. It was active during the Second World War. They operated here back then. They must have built this. Yes, they did. It's my place now. Come on, old lady. Get your ass on the move. So you're gonna open it? Oh, I have to fucking examine it first? Take it, and I won't need to worry about the room anymore. Because 6 and 33 and 118 need changing soon, and I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them because it's very late, and I'm tired. And if you take it, I won't have to do that anymore. The page was autobiographical, a memory from my childhood. But I didn't write this. It was a page written by Thomas Zane. None of them were supposed to exist anymore. Alan, seven years old, would fight sleep to the bitter end. When he did sleep, he soon woke up, screaming the nightmares fresh in his mind. One evening, his mother, sitting by his bed, offered him an old light switch. She called it the clicker, and flicking the switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away. To imbue the talisman with all possible power, she added that it had been given to her by Alan's father. Alan never knew him, and anything of his took on mythical proportions in his mind. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally slept like a baby. Now, almost 30 years later, Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. My mind swirled. I'd given the clicker to Alice, yet it was here. Zane had written it into existence in a story I had written. I can get to her now. I can finish this. Jeez, Louise. Previously on Alan Wake, Skip. I read a horror story that has come true. Thomas Zane did the same in the 70s. You will go no further. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. No one will survive. You knew Zane. Thomas Zane. You're the Lady of the Light in the song. He left something behind to help me. The clicker. Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake. The clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. I can get to her now. I can finish this. My head was about to explode and the light hurt my eyes. I needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. In one of my finer moments of self-deception, I swore to quit drinking. I wasn't sure if I could face the world without my sunglasses and something for my headache. The pills worked fast. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. Okay, they worked fast, but there's no way they worked that fast. Ugh. The sunglasses made the world look bearable. Now I could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. There was a message waiting for me on the machine. You have one new message. Ow! Are you still asleep? Wakey, wakey! You should have your show on your TiVo. If Alice wasn't too mad to record it, that yeah, she called me earlier and really chewed me out. Yeah, yeah, we went a little overboard last night. But parties are a part of this business. Al, look, I'm saying this is your friend. She's not doing your career any favors by trying to run your life like that, okay? I'll talk to you later, Al. Watch the show. What show? Night Falls? Is that what we're talking about here? I don't know, I guess we'll find out. Oh, no, never mind. I guess it's an interview with me. 
Thank you. Thank you, everybody. We have a great show tonight. I've been talking with the best That's me. author, Alan Wake, about his new book, The Sudden Stop. Yeah, good read. Go buy it. No, no, it is a good read. Look, uh, I'm going to be honest here. Is that wise? No, but I'm going to do it anyway. I got people who give me the lowdown on books. I'm a busy guy. But this one, I actually read from cover to cover. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan. Wow, thanks. Now, this might be a spoiler wow, for those thanks. who haven't read the book yet. Based on the sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. <laughs> but this last book is all about the death of the main character, the hard-boiled New York detective, Alex Casey. Now, there's been a lot of outrage about this. Why the hell did you kill Casey? What the hell were you thinking, man? Good riddance. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with, and it was a good run. But it's time to explore new things. My next book will be a departure from the old for me. You selfish bastard. Always thinking of yourself. Now, you've certainly given us a lot of entertainment over the years. And now that you mention it, Casey was a gloomy guy. Never had much luck with his love life with the ladies. Was that autobiographical in any way? Yeah, no kidding. Casey's lady friends tended to die on him. With Casey, it was all about his pain. No, nothing autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. <laughs> well, congratulations. That's great to hear. <laughs> so, how's the publicity tour been treating you? Good, great. But I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. Well, you've certainly been on the news a lot lately. Lots of parties and, um... You got into a fight with some paparazzi. Oh, man. Well, that guy was really in my face. I lost my temper. I know that wasn't cool. Uh, you are famous for that temper. <laughs> well, I did also write several books. Oh. <laughs> Alright, turn it off. I'm done with that. Hey, honey. Did you watch the show? I didn't say anything stupid, the fuck she that's go? what you want to know. Okay, Grumpy. You want an you aspirin or something? Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? Go back to sleep, Alan. Dude, she just asked you about a freaking aspirin. That's all she asked. What? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal, and you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah, you're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation. Just you and me. Some peace and quiet. Somehow, the clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms, to make it all right. But why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah. She's a little too to enthused. Alone. Barry, take her gun. She pull a gun on her? Miss Weaver, close the door when I leave. <clears throat> okay, is Barry gonna give him Good luck, Al. her gun? Or if he doesn't, then what's the purpose of, later. of taking her gun? What was the purpose of taking a gun? I was just gonna get it right back. Or Barry's gonna get it right back. That was pointless. That was utterly pointless taking a gun. When I got out, he didn't take it. It was warm and sunny. I'd flick the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. On Zane's page, I'd stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed.
Alright, off I go. Alone, in daylight, surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape. It was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. Come on. I had enough imagination to make up something like this. Having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed, there would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. I wish there were more than like four car models in this game. The block? Go and make sure it is first. Unless I'm going down there. Yep. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, shit. <laughs> it won't allow you to go down there. Alone. What the? I'm all the way up here. Surrounded Fuck. by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape, it was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this. Having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Alice's death, like Hartman had claimed, there would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. Unless I have to ditch the vehicle, that's probably what it is. Yeah, I'm gonna have to ditch the vehicle. Unfortunately. I'm sure there'll be another one on the other side. What the darkness had touched me. There was a link between us, always would be. I could feel it. It's so loud. Oh, now it's back to freaking nighttime. Come on, I'm hitting fucking middle mouse. Poor sod. Bad excuse for a freaking man. Can't even run like 10 steps without getting winded. <laughs> Sorry about that. Can I hit the mic? Hey, this is my Lincoln. It's a Lincoln. It's not red, so I don't think it's mine. Unless this is compensation from the bad guys. So here, we ruined your car. I mean, good enough to right, but take a new one. Not the life that is. A jeep is pretty wrecked. Never mind. Fuck off. 